Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Take a good, long, deep in-breath in and notice where you feel it. When you breathe out, where do you feel it? Try to let it be comfortable. If long breathing doesn't feel good, you can change it to any rhythm or texture or depth or speed of breathing that you like. Just pay careful attention to what you're doing, what feels best for the body right now. This way you're taking advantage of some opportunities that not many people have, so you can make more out of the opportunity. What it comes down to is that you're here dependent on some of your own past goodness and on the past goodness of other people as well. And you should be grateful for both kinds of goodness. After all, you're a human being now, and that depends on the one hand on your having made the merit to become a human being, and on the other hand it depends on the help of your parents. You got your body from them, they trained you, they gave you life. And then think of all the people who have helped you along to understand what's right and wrong, what's good and bad. And you owe a huge debt of gratitude to those people, too. So you've got your own past goodness that you should be grateful for and the goodness of other people. And when we talk about gratitude, we usually think about paying back the person who helped us. And that's one way of showing our gratitude. If there's any way we can help that person, okay, we, we are happy to provide that help because we realize that we wouldn't be where we are right now without them. But it shouldn't stop right there. You have to think of the goodness that you've inherited, both from your own past actions and from the goodness of other people, as seeds. And if you just keep the seed and give it back to the person who helped you, it doesn't go much farther than that. But if you spread it around, you spread that goodness to other people, okay, that seed then becomes a very important seed. It becomes a source of nourishment for all kinds of people, whatever the plant is. It's going to be a good plant, because it's goodness we're talking about here. And the more people benefit from it, then the more goodness that comes back to you and to the people who helped you. So think of this as an opportunity to expand the range of the goodness you've received and spread it out. So right now, in order to spread it out, you need some strength. This is why we meditate. We develop our mindfulness, we develop our alertness to give us the strength that we can spread that seed around. Show those seeds to other people and they can plant them, and then they can benefit from the plants as well. So when you go through your life, remember you're in, you're, you have an inheritance. You've got the inheritance of your own past good actions and the goodness of other people that keep you alive, have taught you to be the person you are, that brought you here where you are. And you want to make sure that that expands out, that inheritance spreads around. The wider it spreads around, then the more it comes back to you, the more goodness that you have to carry on. So don't think of gratitude just as a repayment of old debts. It's actually a spreading of the goodness that makes us human beings. Without this goodness, where would the human be race be right now? I mean, it's bad enough as it is, but without the measure of goodness that we do have, we'd really be in bad shape. So have a sense of that goodness. Respect the person who was good to you and show respect for that goodness by passing it on to other people, by trying to find ways that you've been good in terms of generosity, virtue, developing your mind. All the various ways that you can show generosity, not only with material things, but also with your forgiveness, with your knowledge, with your time. It's in this way that the goodness that we've received grows, and it comes back to us manyfold.